Welcome to the world of ancient Egypt, where the Pharos of Alexandria stands tall as one of the most impressive and technologically advanced structures of its time. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the history and significance of the Pharos, and explore how it continues to fascinate people to this day. The Pharos of Alexandria, also known as the Lighthouse of Alexandria, was built around 280 BC on the island of Pharos, which was located at the mouth of the Nile River. It was considered one of the seven wonders of the ancient world and was one of the tallest man-made structures of its time, standing at an impressive height of over 400 feet. The Pharos of Alexandria was located in Egypt, at the city of Alexandria, it is believed to have been located on the island of Pharos, which is now part of the city. The lighthouse itself is no longer standing, as it was destroyed by earthquakes and other natural disasters. Some remains of the foundation and a few blocks of the lighthouse can still be seen at the site, but it is mostly in ruins. The Pharos was not only a beacon of light for ships navigating the Mediterranean but also served as a symbol of the city's wealth and power. It was designed to be seen from far out at sea and was equipped with a system of mirrors that reflected sunlight during the day and fire at night. But the Pharos of Alexandria was not just a lighthouse, it was also a symbol of knowledge and learning. The Pharos was built near the famous Library of Alexandria, which was one of the most important libraries of the ancient world. The library was home to hundreds of thousands of scrolls and manuscripts, and it was said that the pharos served as a symbol of the knowledge and wisdom held within the library's walls. Over the centuries, the pharos of Alexandria has been affected by earthquakes, fires, and looting, and today only a few ruins remain of the once great structure. But the legacy of the Pharos lives on, inspiring people to this day with its technological advancements and cultural significance. Today, only a few ruins remain of the once great Pharos of Alexandria, but its legacy lives on as one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Its technological advancements and cultural significance continue to fascinate people to this day. The Pharos of Alexandria was a technological marvel of its time, and one of the most impressive aspects of its design was the use of mirrors to reflect sunlight during the day and fire at night. The Pharos was equipped with a system of mirrors that were placed at the top of the structure, which reflected sunlight during the day and fire at night, making it visible from far out at sea. The mirrors were made of polished metal, most likely bronze or copper, and were shaped in such a way that they could reflect the light towards the sea. During the day, the mirrors reflected the sun's rays, creating a bright beacon that could be seen from far out at sea. At night, a fire was lit at the top of the pharos, and the mirrors reflected the firelight, creating a similar effect. This system allowed the Pharos to serve as a guide for ships navigating the Mediterranean, even during the night. The Pharos was not just a lighthouse, it was a technological achievement that was ahead of its time. The Pharos design and the use of mirrors were an inspiration to many engineers, scientists, and architects throughout the ages. Apart from the use of mirrors, the Pharos of Alexandria also featured other technological advancements such as a complex system of ramps and pulleys that allowed workers to move materials and supplies up and down the structure during its construction.
The construction of the Pharos required a significant amount of planning and engineering know-how, which was evident in its design and construction. There are several legends and myths associated with the Pharos of Alexandria. One of the most popular legends is that the lighthouse was built by the famous Greek architect and engineer, Sostratus of Canidus. The legend states that Sostratus built the Pharos for Ptolemy II, the Greek ruler of Egypt, but did not want to take credit for it. So, he inscribed his name on the foundation of the lighthouse, where it would not be visible to the public. The inscription was only discovered centuries later, when the lighthouse was in ruins. Another legend states that the Pharos was built on the site where Alexander the Great, the conqueror of Egypt, had been buried. According to the legend, Alexander's body was entombed in a secret chamber within the lighthouse, and his tomb was only discovered centuries later. There are also legends that the Pharos was home to a powerful genie or jinn that protected the lighthouse and the ships that passed by. Sailors would leave offerings to the jinn before embarking on their journey, in hopes of a safe voyage. It is important to note that all these legends are not supported by historical evidence, but they are part of the Pharos of Alexandria's rich cultural and historical legacy. There are several myths associated with the Pharos of Alexandria, many of which have been passed down through generations and have become part of the lighthouse's cultural and historical legacy. One of the most popular myths is that the Pharos was built using slave labor. According to the myth, thousands of slaves were forced to work on the construction of the lighthouse, and many of them lost their lives in the process. However, this is not supported by historical evidence and it is likely that the lighthouse was built by skilled workers and craftsmen. Another myth is that the Pharos was built in a single night by the ancient Egyptian god, Thoth. According to the myth, Thoth used his magical powers to construct the lighthouse in a single night, in order to guide the ships of the Pharaohs to the port of Alexandria. There are also myths that the Pharos was built on top of a powerful energy source or portal, which gave the lighthouse its ability to guide ships safely to shore. According to the myths, this energy source was guarded by a powerful genie or jinn, who would only allow ships to pass if they were guided by a skilled navigator. Another myth is that the Pharos was home to a powerful curse, which would cause ships that passed too close to the lighthouse to sink or be destroyed. This myth was likely born out of the fact that many ships were lost in the waters around Alexandria due to the treacherous currents and storms. It is important to note that, these myths are not supported by historical evidence but they are part of the Pharos of Alexandria's rich cultural and historical legacy. The Pharos of Alexandria was also a symbol of the cultural exchange that took place in ancient Egypt. The Pharos was built during the Hellenistic period, when Egypt was under Greek rule, and it was a fusion of Greek and Egyptian architectural styles. The Pharos was a blend of Egyptian monumental architecture and Greek engineering and technology, which was a reflection of the cultural exchange that took place in ancient Egypt. The Pharos of Alexandria is currently in ruins and much of the original structure has been lost over time. Despite this, there have been several efforts to preserve and reconstruct the lighthouse for future generations, 
led by the Egyptian government, international organizations, and experts. These efforts include preservation, stabilization, reconstructions and creating visitor centers and museums to promote tourism and increase awareness about the pharaoh's cultural and historical significance. As we come to the end of this video, we hope you have enjoyed learning about the amazing pharaohs of Alexandria. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos on fascinating historical and cultural topics. And leave a comment below with your thoughts on the Pharos of Alexandria. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.